hello folks this the screen which you can see right now is of teradata sql assistant this is a tool sql editor which teradata corporation gives you so i have this installed and when you open this screen you see something like this so today we are going to see how to create a new connection which can help us in connecting to teradata and we can use it to execute some queries on teradata so to create a connection there are few requirements you should know the server ip username and password so for these information you can talk to your dba he can create a new account for you or he can give you a new generic id something to log in the teradata okay so create a new connection go to tools select define data source you can create in user dsn as well as in system dsn as now we'll create in user dsn click on add button scroll down select the teradata driver click on finish once you finish you get this window write something here so that you can identify this connection okay give the ip here as if now i have installed teradata on my local host so ip will be this you can select here whether ldap or any other security mechanism you want to implement consult your dba before selecting any option here give the username and password once it is done you can select here character set whether you want utf8 or ascii by default it is ascii if you want to specify any database a default database tagged with this user you can specify it here once all this information is done on ok a prompt will come which will ask you whether you want to store the password i generally select the yes option because it's hassle free every time you don't have to input the password click on yes click on ok now your connection has been made you have created a connection now you have to use that connection to connect to teradata so either you can use this button if it's not available go to to select connect go to machine data source this is the connection which we just now created click on ok ok so here we are we are connected so we'll just run one query to see whether it is working fine or not hello world you can press the f5 or else you can click on this button this is execute button here is the output so similarly you can execute more queries to disconnect just click on this button connect the connection thanks for watching this tutorial keep watching for more tutorials